So now in this video, we're gonna keep an eye on the voltage across a forward bias LED while we are raising the supply voltage. That's why we have VCC, it's an undetermined supply voltage. A Couple of things to keep in mind though, you need to keep the current through the LED to less than 20 milliamps of current. And you wanna keep the wattage of the resistor below 0.125 watts. So the voltage across the resistor will be the supply voltage minus whatever the LED is dropping. You take that voltage across the resistor and I multiply it by whatever the current is going. So we'll keep it under 20 milliamps. As long as we keep current under 20 milliamps, the resistor will be just fine. So we're gonna keep an eye on how the forward voltage changes. It will build up that voltage, no current will flow until you get to its forward voltage. And then once you get to its forward voltage, current starts flowing through it that prevents the voltage from rising. That's when it goes across the resistor. But uh, it's not a specific point, it changes a little bit. It goes up a little bit as current gets higher. So we'll compare the red LED and the blue LED. And here we are on the breadboard. So you can see a 220 ohm resistor right there to the positive supply. And then it comes to the jumper and the long lead, the anode of the LED. That's the anode, make sure that side's more positive. Short lead, the cathode, going to that jumper to ground. This jumper here, this is the other end of this alligator clip, which I have clipped to the multimeter probe. And I also have the uh, black probe, same setup there. That's going to ground. The voltage across the LED is in relationship to ground. So right now, you can see we got uh, one volt, basically, across it. I raised the power supply up a little bit more than one volt because you can see we lose just a speck of voltage along the way. So if it was one exactly, it would be uh, 0.99 or something. So in any case, you can see we got pretty much the full voltage. That's because the power supply voltage is less than the forward voltage of the LED. Now, two volts is about the forward voltage of the LED, but it does conduct a little bit, a little bit before two volts. So we will see a slight glow right there. There's a little bit of current uh, flowing through the LED. So not much though, not much glow, especially because it's a red LED blue LED would probably be uh, quite a bit brighter. So in any case, there we go. Now we just went up one volt and you can see that uh, we only went up, I think like 0.15 or something, uh, maybe 0.2, almost 0.2 uh, volts right there, even though we went up a full volt. And now we're gonna go up another volt, four volts. And you can see it held really steadily, bumped up a little bit, but still pretty close to uh, two volts. And there again, still pretty close to two volts, even though we went up another uh, full volt there. So it barely changed there, but it did go up a little bit. That's the main thing to be aware. So there we got uh, five volts at the power supply and uh, six volts. So now we got about 18 milliamps of current. That's as high as I'm gonna go with the voltage there. And we still have two volts across the red LED with almost uh, 20 milliamps of current. There you can see it's quite a bit brighter. And now we got the blue LED. I dropped the power supply voltage back down to one volt. So that's what we have across the LED. Practically the full voltage, we just lose a speck again along the wires and stuff because there's a, a tiny bit of resistance. And so now we go to two volts and that was enough to get the red LED to start lighting up a little bit. But uh, here you can see we still got the full voltage across the uh, LED right there because this is a blue LED. It has a forward voltage closer to three volts. So it'll conduct a little bit below three volts, uh, a little bit below three volts, I should say. It'll conduct a little bit, but at uh, three volts there you can see we got some conduction, but probably a bit less than one milliamp of current right there. And so there you can see it still glows though, uh, you know, a bit. So I think that's why they replaced the red LEDs on a lot of stuff with blue LEDs. They take a lot less current to actually produce a fair amount of light. So now we go up to four volts. It did not change much there, but it did go up a bit, but uh, nowhere near a full volt that we went up. So again, it has a forward voltage about a volt higher. So now we're gonna go up to five, bumped up a little bit, bumped up a little bit again, and uh, seven. That's where we're gonna stop because we're at 18 milliamps of current. And so we're a volt higher now at our maximum voltage than we were with the red LED. We went up to uh, seven for 18 milliamps of current, approximately. This is not as accurate, this power supply, the display as a multimeter would be, 
But in any case, there you can see, we uh, held pretty close to 3 volts all this time, even though we went up about uh, 4 more volts. So that's the way the forward voltage works. And again, as I said, whatever voltage the LED drops is less voltage across the resistor than the supply voltage. So there you can see we got about 4 volts across the LED a little bit less because there's a little more than 3 across the LED and we're using 7 volts total. So in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you turn off the uh, multimeter when you are done and uh, you can turn off the uh, power supply if you want. In fact, before we do that, I always make sure to put the power supply to uh, 5 volts because that's generally what I assume the voltage is when I build a circuit on the board. And so if I accidentally build a circuit for 5 volts, but it's a higher voltage on the power supply, I might damage something. So that's something I try to always do when I'm done. So in any case, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps the most. I have links down in the description. But uh, watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for watching them. I'll see you in the next video.